Welcome to Liquid Lunch. It's uh, Wednesday, February 24th, 2010. Wow. Look who's back. It's Hi, Erin. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. It's weird to be back. It's weird. It's weird here in 2010. I haven't even really written it down or said it too much there's this only, year. There's only about a thousand days left, you know. I know. A thousand and thirty-six <laughs> days. My God. Yeah, Are you counting? Come on. Not yet, but I will be. Talked about this. As soon as we go to triple digits. It's crazy, eh? Why? Did we talk about it? What did we say did about we? it? Oh, yeah. What did you say about it? Or what did uh, I supposed to know about it? Nothing. There's nothing to know. There's nothing going to happen? No. It's like anything else. 2000, whatever, Just get whatever. a new calendar, right? Exactly. It's just the end of a calendar. That's all it is. Okay. Whatever's happening is already happening. Well, I got a disturbing email this morning. <laughs> it's about... <laughs> <laughs> Was someone else counting down to you? What's your story? <laughs> oh, somebody sent me this uh, email about uh, apparently some uh, a secret Freemason meeting in London <laughs> are planning World War Three. Oh, dear. Yeah. I don't know. Those guys are interesting. I told you I met a whole bunch of them last year. There was a conference here, but I think they what, were... of Masons? Yeah, yeah. They have a conference every year, and um, they're interesting guys. They build churches and do all these great charity things, and yeah, yeah. you know? Of course. But, uh, it's just a front. Exactly. So that they can plan World War yeah. Three Lovely in secret. People. <laughs> I don't know. I have no comments about that. I'm trying not to put my head into those things anymore, really. Really? Yeah, because there's only so much you're ever going to know, and you can't really change anything. So it's kind of like digging for information that you can never confirm is really true. That's true. Because there's a million different yeah, theories, right? Yeah, you never right? know. You never know. And it's some the aliens, the or it's the masons, or it's the... Yeah, and the things that I've been digging into just says it's irrelevant. <laughs> Focus on other stuff, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a sensible attitude. Yep. It's healthier for sure. Okay. Yep. How's the new house working out? Oh, dear. Because Blue was complaining <laughs> still about building it this it. morning. <laughs> really? Well, what's the problem with it? Because it looks like such a nice little development over there. Well, it's a new development. That's pretty much it. And I've lived in new developments and own new developments, and I kind of forgot the pain about it. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's those things you don't think about, and we're on the main ground, so, you know, you got workers in your window all day and just our door doesn't close and uh, <laughs> you get locked in and locked out things like that that's good well blue still made it to work on time today yeah no so, she's good uh, with that <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> blue's pretty uh, flexible in a lot of ways <laughs> so that's a story for another time but that's pretty funny okay we'll get through it any other stories to tell before we get on with the show today i have many as always but you know we have people we have to interview i know yeah okay so let's, uh, well, tell people who we've got on the show. First of all, Lynn Himmelman will be coming in. Lynn's Lively Laughter Yoga. She's been here before, so. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. That's so we'll familiar. probably be forced to laugh. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good day for that. And then we have Jim Binden coming in. Uh, he's uh, with PBS out of Buffalo, right? He has an office here, yeah. He's in Toronto, though, because, of course, mm -hmm. they're Buffalo, Toronto, because... The mm -hmm. people in Toronto give a lot of money to WNED in Buffalo because mm -hmm. we love public television, <laughs> right? Right. And uh, then Dave McLean is coming in. He's a real estate agent and a former stand-up comedian. Lots of laughs today. So those things might go together, yeah. real estate and stand-up comedy as your experience aaron it's real estate's pretty freaking funny you yeah. probably got some great material you can <laughs> yeah. give him 
but For sure. uh, but we're going to start the show off uh, with tomorrow's glory. We have John and Anthony here from the band, and uh, they're ready to go. But we're going to play a song from their EP first, mm -hmm. and we're going to come back and chat with John and Anthony, and uh, hopefully get a couple songs. Awesome. So we'll be right back as Liquid Lunch gets underway here on Wednesday, February twenty fourth, two thousand and ten. 